right, Tim Biggin for Delta Derivatives Option Hedges and Edges and taking a look at the market this week for Traders Exclusive and we certainly have volatility back in the marketplace. Didn't seem too long ago we had the VIX, you know, trading with a uh, 12 handle. Right now we're uh, poking towards 20 on the VIX level. Certainly Greece on the forefront and China, which has been literally crashing over the past uh, several days. So we'll see what happens uh, there on that front. They're trying to stem the uh, sell-off. Uh, so far, uh, the free money seems to have a very diminutive effect over in China. And here we're seeing markets down about 1% across the board. We did see the 30-year yield go below 3%. So uh, the flight to safety and bonds certainly happening, as I alluded to, the VIX heading towards 20. And these Chinese stocks starting to look uh, fairly attractive on a comparative basis. So I'm selling some out of the money put spreads on the FXI. It broke down below 40, so I'm looking out to August selling the 36 33 put spread. Position to be a buyer basically on a 10% further sell off from here. That market's down about 32% off its recent highs. So I like it on a comparative valuation basis as well. So uh, we're also taking a look as always at some more opportunistic trades using those option scanners over at rbtrader.com. Certainly saw some big, big volume yesterday in Hertz on the July 17 and 18 calls. I jumped in, bought the underlying shares, sold those calls, captured that implied volatility pop. Implied volatility jumped about 20%, even with the stock up. Normally you see implied vols come in, so positioning basically the same bullish level here on the 17 uh, buy right, a little less bullishly on the 18, a little bit more, but net net about the same uh, position as the call buyers have, but capturing that implied volatility as well. Also looking at a name uh, EPD, a big, big buyer on some of the July 30 calls over the past week or so. I bought the underlying shares, sold those, same idea here, looking to position along with that big order flow. And these are all short-term options. I like the fact that they're aggressively buying short-term call options. That shows that they really have an opinion on the stock. So with this market environment, we are seeing you know some of the chip names get beaten up here as well. Looking at MU and Sandisk is a couple names. MU in particular had some big, big call volume out in January of 17 yesterday. So I'm kind of liking that name on a uh, valuation basis as well. So until next week, this is Tim Bigham. And as always, but especially in this market environment, keep those position sizes in place and those stops going. Take care.